So I follow him the whole time. I remember watching Puff at the Beverly Hills Hotel, filming this, and it's a pool party that is ridiculous, man. Jamie Foxx is the latest celeb to speak out on Diddy's rumored secret parties with younger men. However, fans are saying the real truth is even more disturbing, and Jamie is probably holding back because he doesn't want people to know the wild things he was doing at those parties. Rumors about Diddy being on the DL and having a fondness for younger guys have been circulating for years, and multiple people have come forward to say they personally witnessed some crazy stuff taking place at Diddy's infamous house parties. You know, when you Google his name, there's a rumor that pops up uh -huh. that he was Diddy's boy to him. Oh shit. I can't wait to run into him again. See, what you gonna say to him? Puffy was playing with your booty in Miami. <laughs> You know it was in Miami. <laughs> but what about Jamie Foxx? What does he know about Diddy's alleged gay parties? Rumors about Diddy being in the closet are nothing new, and they've actually been going around since the 90s. However, all this speculation surrounding Diddy's sexuality recently took a dark turn when a new set of rumors popped up that Diddy had been grooming young and upcoming singers for years. It all started after Diddy's former protege, Usher, broke his silence on how when he was 14 years old, L.A. Reid sent him to live with Diddy in New York City and attend Diddy's flavor camp. I moved to New York City and I lived with Sean Puffy Combs for a year. That's the crazy thing. Now, that yeah. was L.A. Reid's idea, right? We're sending New you over York to City. something called Puffy Flavor Camp. There you go. To learn <laughs> Flavor some. Camp. Yeah, Flavor Camp. Yeah, that's what it was called. And you're going to go to Puff Daddy's. He's going to. In the 90s. Do you understand what that's like? And pay attention to this next part when Usher was asked if Diddy's place was full of girls. Usher said that's not exactly true, and you could tell he was thinking about whether to spill the whole truth or not. Puffy's place was like just filled with chicks and orging like nonstop, right? No, nah, not really. I Come mean, on. but there, hey, it was curious. I got a chance to see some things. Usher also admitted he saw a lot of wild stuff at Puffy's Flavor Camp, despite being too young to even process what was going on. But it's weird how Usher never said what exactly was the purpose of Puffy's Flavor Camp, other than to observe Diddy's lifestyle. However, he did say that he was paid a per diem to stay with Diddy and was allowed to stay up all night with the adults. Well, I seeing? went there to see the lifestyle. Right. And, and I saw it. And it was, and it was, <laughs> but I don't know if I could indulge and understand what I was even looking at. It was it was pretty wild. Was, so nobody tried to, you know, some woman didn't come along. I didn't and, say that. Okay. I, I didn't but say that. <laughs> what I did say is that there were very curious things taking place, uh -huh. and I didn't necessarily understand it. Uh -huh. you know what I mean? Does he have you doing any chores? Are you doing dishes at all? I mean, to keep you humble somewhat, or are you just like, can you stay up till four in the morning with them and party? I mean, I could. I yeah. actually stayed up longer than them. <laughs> and, I, and, what, and do you have money? What's going <laughs> I mean, I had like per diem. Yeah. Uh -huh. I, had, I had like, you know, what like a, a living. life. Yes. Now, no matter how you try to spend this, there's nothing that can justify a 14 year old boy living with a grown man he's not related to and mixing with all types of shady people who used to party with Diddy. Besides that, in a recently resurfaced interview with Kevin Hart, Diddy let it slip that he and Usher used to sleep in the same bed when Diddy was 19, which means Usher was just 10 years old at the time. That's my brother right here from day one. We used to wake up and. I mean, damn, pause, but like, that's how, I mean, I mean, back in the days when he was like 10 and I was a little bit older, his older brother, we used to fight over the, over the Frosted Flakes, you know what I'm saying, before pause was invented, you know what I'm saying, but it's my brother for real, we used to actually wrestle off of the, off of the Frosted Flakes because he used to always get up early with me, and now he's one of the richest stars in the world, and I'm Yo, like, what, what the, the fuck, fuck did Puff just, just say? Good. Nobody's gonna acknowledge this for me. Puff just said we used to wrestle over the Frosted Flakes. And we're streaming live. That was stupid. So again, why is a 10-year-old sleeping in the same bed with someone who's not their family? Honestly, if this were a 10-year-old girl Diddy was talking about, the reactions would have been totally different. But somehow people thought this was funny and kept making gay jokes about Diddy. However, it looks like people are now starting to wake up to the fact that the main issue here is not Diddy's sexuality. Literally, no one cares at this point whether he's gay or not. But allegations of manipulating boys and young men? Hmm. And while no one has actually come forward to accuse Diddy of grooming them, there's a ton of footage out there of Diddy making men uncomfortable in his presence. Remember that Drink Champs interview when Diddy kept pressing Fabulous to answer why they never party together? Fab literally looked like he wanted to disappear off the face of the earth. Look, did you look back me? on where I became. Mm -hmm. Did you miss me though? Mm -hmm. For real, because we, I'm saying, I mean, it seems like a thing. I miss his birthday with party, Puff, man. Man, I miss but I'm talking about for your birthday. Huh? Why won't you party with me for your birthday, man? 
I, I, we we party for my birthday before. You came to my party. And, and no, but me and you ain't never really party. You know what I'm saying? For the rest of the interview, Fabulous just kept staring at his plate and eating his birthday cake like he was terrified of even making eye contact with Diddy. Shortly after Diddy's Drink Champs interview went viral, 50 Cent started trolling Diddy about being gay, and he posted a meme showing a picture of himself in a hospital bed surrounded by stuffed animals in a text that said, currently recovering from pettiness. Sorry, I can no longer help you guys. Soon you will all be gay and happy, 50 Cent wrote in the comments. You are all now left under the leadership of Puff Daddy. Report to the nearest rainbow. But this was just the beginning because when 50 later appeared on The Breakfast Club, he revealed that Diddy once offered to take him shopping. And he also implied that the entire industry knows what the deal is with Diddy, but no one wants to say it out loud. You know what I'm saying? Like, he said something fabulous and he goes, yo, no, we, no, but me and you, we ain't party. Like, we need to party. And then a few weeks later, Diddy himself appeared on The Breakfast Club. And when he was asked to comment on the Drink Champs interview, Diddy acted like he had no idea what they were talking about. However, you could tell by the way he kept playing with his hands and fidgeting that the questions touched a nerve. When you was with Nori and Fab and Jada and mm. everybody, they made a compilation video of you because they said you were sounding real suspect mm. on, the, on the interview. Yeah. Did you see that? Of course, nah. I didn't see it. No, nah, I didn't see it. You didn't see it. I swear to God. Oh, Come yeah. on, man. You saw hey, that on World hey, Star and hey, on the Check ch ch this out. When they started playing the game, the pause game, I would definitely. That came from Harlem too. By yeah, the way. It came from Harlem. I definitely would say some. Oh my! Woo! The crowd would be like, "What? Did he just say that?" <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't play games. Y'all know. You know what I'm saying? I'm a grown man. I don't play games. But um. Yeah, Did the you compilation. Go? Nah, I was, I was coming off of being in Miami at night of party, and I don't really remember what I was saying. Charlamagne then played a clip from the Drink Champs interview where Diddy called Nori Daddy. However, Diddy just kept acting like he didn't understand anything, and he totally ignored Charlamagne's question about calling another man Daddy. I like yeah. when you like this, Daddy. Yeah, yeah, where you from my bed? Daddy, yeah, I like when you when oh, you scrambling right and scraping no, for no, shit. No, no, no.